Hey there friends, welcome back to Chronically Overdressed. I'm Christine the Glambassador. so excited to share with you some of my latest brooch acquisitions. If you have followed me for any length of time, you know that I absolutely adore brooches and I do have a pretty substantial collection. Um, I've done a couple of videos. I've got two videos showing some of my collection. Um, I encourage you to go watch those if you haven't seen those already. And I have another video that talks about how to wear a brooch, um, different ways traditionally to wear a brooch and just some kind of creative ways to incorporate brooch wearing into your wardrobe. So if you haven't seen that, I highly recommend you go watch those. I will link them here for you as well as put them in the description. So it has been a little while since I've done a brooch acquisition video for you guys. Um, and as I was pulling all of these brooches, these new brooches together, I really realized how few brooches I've purchased in the last probably two years, really. Um, and you know, a lot of that was because I was moving and we were just getting settled. And also just, you know, going through some of my other um, brooch collection and just kind of realizing that I'm not wearing all of my brooches and um, so I'm starting to kind of pull some out and I will be selling them on Poshmark um, or maybe over on my Patreon um, but yeah I feel like I'm being a little bit more discerning with my you know brooch choices so um, but the ones that I have now the this this latest batch are you know really meaningful to me. Some were given to me as gifts, which was very, very kind that someone would think of me to, um, you know, to hand this brooch off to. Um, and some are actually brand new, like from reproduction companies. So some are vintage, some are from reproduction companies and, um, but I love them all and I would love to share them with you. Okay. So you ready to see my new brooches? This lovely spiderweb brooch was gifted to me by one of my husband's aunts. It seems like each time I go up to Pittsburgh, I get a little gift from one of them, which is so lovely. I love anything that has spider webs or little spiders on them, so to have another brooch, especially one with these beautiful blue gems, is so amazing. This is another brooch that um, another one of his aunts gave me uh, at my, on my recent trip up to Pittsburgh. The gorgeous blue gem in the middle is so stunning. I'm so excited, I can't wait to wear this one. This brooch I believe I got at the DC Big Flea Market. Um, there's a booth there that has five dollar brooches and I've gotten a few uh, beautiful beautiful items from them and I really like this one it's it's reminds me kind of a uh, Victorian almost um, you could wear it at your collar uh, I think that's probably how I'm going to, to wear it I honestly don't recall where I got this brooch <laughs> Um, but it's really cute, just a cute little basket of flowers, and I like the colors on it. It's um, not completely green, they're kind of an aquamarine almost, um, but yeah, it's really dainty and cute. I don't know why, but I have a thing for insect brooches, <laughs> and this one, I'm not sure if it's a bee or a fly. I think it's a bee. I'm gonna go with a bee, um, but it's it's really cute. I like the combination of the silver and the gold on it. Uh, I feel like it makes it a little bit more versatile to wear. Culinary brooches or anything that have to do with uh, food and drink. I think are just so adorable. <laughs> There's just such a novelty to them and I 
again I don't remember where I found this one I think this one was at the DC flea market um, but it's just a cute little tea setting with I, I'm guessing a pie that's what I'm going with this I actually got from a lovely vintage gal on Poshmark um, surprisingly I've been actually finding a few brooches on Poshmark um, I think more and more people are starting to to add their brooch collections that they're trying to get rid of on Poshmark instead of Etsy and, and other selling so definitely check that out for uh, for some brooches This celluloid beauty is another one of the $5 brooches I got at the DC Big Flea. And it has this really interesting pin in the back and a kind of sort of locking mechanism. There's a piece here that you can pull out and when you secure the brooch, you push it back in and it kind of locks the pin in so it doesn't accidentally come out, which is great because this is a really, uh, it's a very dainty, very light brooch, um, but I really like that. I, I've definitely uh, lost a couple of brooches from not very secure locking mechanisms. Here's another one that I don't really recall where I got this one, but I like the um, kind of the muted blue. It's almost slightly gray in some lights um, against the, the gold. It's just a really beautiful floral bouquet, and I don't know, I, I really like the color. It's not super bright, it's nice and muted. And yet another $5 brooch from the DC Flea Market. Um, this I love. I love it's kind of a marcasite looking, um, but you know, diamonds, it's very sparkly, but it still has a very old look to it. Uh, I like these kind of shield brooches. You can use these to, you know, secure a sweater um, up at the up at the neck, um, or just wear it as a regular brooch. But it's just gorgeous. These next two brooches are from a reproduction company called Match Accessories. This one here is of Billy the Goat. Um, this is from their Disney line. And if you've ever gone to Disneyland in California, Big Thunder Mountain has this goat, this Billy Goat with a piece of dynamite in his mouth. And he's a staple and uh, I just love that they came out with these, <laughs> these brooches. Um, and they're made of wood. It, they're very, they're kind of, you know, hand carved. It's absolutely gorgeous. This brooch is from Match Accessories Haskell Collection. This is in honor of Miriam Haskell. She was an American designer of costume jewelry from about the 1920s through the 60s or so. And they have an amazing collection of brooches and um, bracelets and necklaces, all inspired by Miriam Haskell. <music> And this little guy is from an Etsy shop called Lipstick and Chrome. Uh, she makes these amazing kind of celluloid plastic brooches. And I love this one because it looks very much like those 1930s Halloween decorations. And it's, he's just so cute. I, I really like him. This I picked up at the Del Rey Flea Market um, actually not too long ago. And I, I wanna say they're either grapes or blackberries or something maybe. But I really like the, um, the tiny little bird up at the top just kind of sitting on the branch. And um, yeah, I think it's very kind of summery and really pretty. This is another one. I don't really recall where I got it. It could be the DC flea market or possibly the Del Rey flea market, but I really like the matte 
uh, flowers against the bright shiny gold. I really like that juxtaposition of you know that that shininess with the the flat color. I think it's just uh, it's just really beautiful. It makes them each one pop. This I found at the Delray Flea Market, and I really like I, I really like to find seasonal type brooches. Um, anything that has you know fall related leaves or acorns or pine cones, anything like that, I think is just beautiful. And of course, you can wear it all throughout the season. Um, but I really like this one. I like the shininess and the matte uh, aspect of it. This was a $5 DC flea market find, um, and I'm actually really excited about this one. It's, um, it's a signed piece from Kramer of New York, which was a jewelry company um, in Manhattan, and they started in 1943, and they stopped making jewelry in about 1980. So I, I'm thinking this is probably 50s or 60s, but it's just kind of cool to have a signed piece for such a low price. This one I do believe I got at the um, Delray Flea Market. Uh, it's another Eidelweiss. Uh, apparently I am drawn to those. <laughs> I have no idea what this says. I've tried to look it up. Um, I can't find anything. So I, I think maybe this was just like a souvenir piece. But I just love the color of the celluloid and kind of the texture of it. It's just a really interesting piece to me. Well, those are my latest treasures of brooches. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope that you are finding fantastic brooches yourself and wearing them as often as you can. Thanks again for joining me. I will see you again soon. Bye.